guys welcome back to my channel today we have the bone spindle by leslie defender now this was a right very thorough through this is like a sleeping beauty retelling but with the other genders wrapped around so we have a character called briar rose he's currently a light witch which we find out through the book um and he is a prince who is currently under a spell of the bone spindle witch who casts a spell on the kingdom of his whole area of under under and there and the two people you see on front of this cover we have shane who is with the axe the female hunter um huntsman who is actually a princess which holy crown so she went out of her way to discard what she really is to go have freedom for herself and then we have our adventurer our what's the word called Hunts, hunter or What's, oh no, treasure hunter, that's the one. Um, Fee. Fee is someone who is basically she, <clears throat> so she has a butterfly curse because the ex boyfriend that she had um, deceived her because he just wanted her for himself and basically threw a relic at her and it was a butter butterfly curse. Then now she has basically no family, no life. When nothing she where she is in high class she lost everything because of this butterfly class that's why she has a glove on her hand um to so no one can see this butterfly class of hers and the guy that she was with a lot um basically tended to her with everything butterfly basically to ruin her life but she wasn't having any of that so slowly through this book as well she was slowly falling in love with briar rose which is so cute anyway Let's go inside the book, shall we? <laughs> so in this, this is a beacon box box that we got. I believe this was my January box. So we have our lovely author letter. Then we obviously have the synopsis. So it says, some curses are meant to be broken. So Fee is a bookish treasure hunter whose knack um, for ruins and riddles who definitely doesn't believe in true love. So she's trying to find um, a way to break the butterfly curse. So she thinks if she goes to do with the Briar Rose, she might be able to find the book that has it. But things lead to things and not that very good. Shane is a tough, a dead warrior who's cracking shell, skull, pretty girls and doing things her own way. Then we have Briar Rose, is a prince under the sleeping curse who's been waiting a hundred years for this kiss that will wake him. Cursed princesses are nothing but ancient his um, history to Fay. Until she pricks her finger on a bone spindle while exploring a long lost ruin, now she's stuck with the spirit of Briar Rose until she and Shane can break the century old curse on his kingdom. Dark magic, witch, witch, ugh, witch hunters, and bad exes all stand in the, her way, not to mention a mysterious witch who might wind up stealing Shane's heart along with the wit, wit, with whatever else she's after. They're talking about Red. So this girl, um, Red, basically reminds me of Red Riding Hood a little bit, um, but this girl, Red, basically is working for the Bone Spindle Witch, um, and she has these gigantic two times size wolves, like massively, um, that attack them at the end. And obviously this is when she goes, I gave you a choice to come out, but you decided to carry on. You wouldn't have to get killed. I was like, jeez. Um, hard long one, but nothing scares me more than possibly falling in love with Briar Rose. Set in a large world inspired by the beloved fairy tale of the bone spin, it was fast-paced fantasy full of adventure, romance and found family and snark. So it's definitely a good book. We have the hardcover, which is red, with the sort of little gold spine. This is also signed by the author, which I love. And then I do have some sort of quotes thingies that I like. So page three, a drop of blood, a drop of hope, the sleep of death are broken with a single kiss. Yeah, and we have this one. Though all seems lost, the greater witches stood against the spindle witch one final time, giving their lives to alter the kingdom's fate with three final acts of great magic. The snake witch sw um, swore to safeguard a path, becoming a great ivory serpent, winding through the forest of thorns. Forest of thorns. So that means that she, the so the snake witch, uh, the snake witch um, 
created a river so they can take them straight to the um, castle. The dream witch promised to protect those inside the castle, spelling them to sleep along the side of the prince. We find out that the dream witch is also under a curse because um, she's connected to the rest of the people by the bone spindle witch who decided to thread them so she wouldn't wake up and, and no one else will. So now they've got to try and find a way to get through and break that curse. And the rose witch. Vowed to shield Burrow Rose from the spindle witch power, weaving his tower in roses and protective spells. So then obviously with the Rose Witch as well, the bro curse was broken, but only for Briar. No one else was has awoken. Shane suddenly had to awake as well. So now we have these, we have Shane, Briar Rose and Fee trying to find a way to get out of this kingdom. Because they have giant, giant spiders that can kill you with no matter what with their little babies you have giant wolves and we have nowhere else what the hell's going to be going and explaining into this world of forest or what else they're going to put literally pull it up with it was literally a ride then we have spires so high that it touched the clouds kissing the stars in the night sky a breathing breathtaking place of learning and laughter and magic so i thought this was like a really good book and spoilers alert guys, there's actually going to be a second book. Because the way it ended, it's basically with the kingdom, with Briar Rose finally awake. We don't know how, um, with all the, his kingdom still asleep, they've got to find a way to break that curse. But they have to basically find the spindle witch, defeat her, save Red, so Shane can get her, um, her lover. And then basically, there's a whole thing. So there's going to definitely be a book two of this. I literally cannot wait to finish reading it. This was literally a lovely little book. I'm finally glad I've got through this book as well. Because I feel like I've gone through a few days in this. Um, but this book is amazing. I really love the characters. How they chose to be, like, the way they are. And the way they've chosen to be. And then we obviously have the... Um, to keep us on our tails. So the way it ended did leave us like a little bit of a cliffhanger because we are finding more on like on how they're going to get out more of this out of the woods to escape from this boat bindle and are they going to try and save Red? What are they going to do? They trusted Red and everything and then that stuff happened. So there's a lot of un-questions un to be answered um, but yes. I guess I will find out later in the year when I go through all my books again to find out when the next book comes out or what books are coming out from each authors I have. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the next book. Peace.